Hey pilots, hope you had a great Memorial Day weekend. Finishing up my Banshee grind and uh, thought I would show you this interesting match. It shows you the lows and the highs even within one match, how you can be doing absolutely terrible and yet also have a really, end up with a really good match at the same time. And uh, this one did not start off great for me. In in fact, <laughs> twice it went very poorly for me, and we're gonna we're gonna learn from those mistakes. But um, but also just getting back in the saddle and pushing, and seeing what kind of cool stuff can happen when you stick with a match and uh, and really dedicate yourself to pushing on and, and capturing those zones. So I'm gonna try and get into a zone where my teammates are not. It's a three v three, and uh, I'm up against specialized uh, Black Widow, specialized XP58 Chain Lightning, and uh, Shinden as well. And uh, so I thought this this is going to be interesting as I started this match. Like, I've got better speed than those two. I certainly can't outturn them. Um, but, you know, it also they also have some pretty powerful turrets and firepower. And, you know, there may not. Uh, it all is going to depend on how the initial encounter goes, right? If I get jumped or I get, get the jump on them, that's going to play into this. So the first zone is taking a little longer to capture than I anticipated that it would. But nonetheless, we're going to push on in it. And here's uh, F6U, and I, I can't. Come on, guns. Come on. So there's moments like that still with these 420s where I don't do anything, and then moments like this where it's just instant, right? Like, it's so weird to me, the inconsistency in those two. So I've got a P61 flying in. I've got the J7W behind me, um, and I also are in front of me, and I also have the XP58 behind me. So I pass through the zone and realize XP58 is chasing me, and we're just going to leave. Uh, I, I don't want to take up 3v1. Um, that's probably not good, especially against both heavies at the same time. Um, I just decide to peel out. We've also you know, kind of got that zone. We just captured it, so there's no need for me to stay there anyway. And I figure I'm going to stay ahead of this guy. You can watch me doing level flight here. I'm just tapping the mouse, keeping those wings straight keeping the speed up, right, so I know he can't catch me and making sure I, I make the corner wide enough that uh, I can't be hit by the guns. And I'm going to drag him into uh, my teammate's uh, tail gunner. When that happens, I see, okay, he's slowing down, he's pulling off, and I decide to pull off as well and loop over, and now I can engage him. Uh, he ends up turning back around, and again, the XP-58 is almost, a, you know, I think it's actually nowadays with the, the uh, nerf to the P61. It's the same nimbleness as the P61. So we're going head on. I realize this is bad. He's got a chunk of HP, a little more than me. And I'm going to try and duck under him. And you saw what happened. We collided. I think he went down at the same time. I end up dead. He ends up still alive, which is really frustrating. But you know, he does have a bulkier hit point pool than I do. And uh, again, with these guns, they just don't always don't always do too much. You know, 17 hit points in a frontal uh, from 1,000 meters is, is crap, right? Like, I just, it wasn't doing a whole lot there. So, get knocked off the horse, you got to try again. So, I'm going to jump in. I'm going to try and uh, save our command center over here, uh, which I think did not get taken in the first pass. Unfortunately, they're able to grab it. And we do have a two-on-one this time, but the 1056, unfortunately, uh, gets wiped out. That, you know, again, the P61, strong fighter. I don't, I don't think he saw me coming in, but then he turns, and we're going to do it again. That's right. I'm going to try and pass above him, and he's going to come up, and then this time we're both going to die because he was already low on HP. So as you can imagine, I'm really frustrated with myself right now. You know, we're down on zones, I'm dying to r stupid rams, which are, you know, avoidable. Uh, I'm not excited. I'm not happy with myself. I'm not happy with my gameplay. I'm not happy with how the match is going. And, um, and I'm just pissed. So I spawn into the zone with three enemy planes, which is probably not the best of strategies. But I'm going to do it anyway. And uh, we're just going to you know, make the best of this match. Go for the rear plane. Right? I got, uh, I got two to choose from there. Clear the rear first one out first. And then you can follow the second one up and get two kills. Uh, so, you know, if you're in a situation where you have uh, on the tail of two planes, uh, clear the trailer first and then uh, just climb the ladder up after him. So with that, I have managed to hold on to our airfield. And now with the help of this bot bomber and the other bot bomber you see in the distance there, we're going to try and flip the command center and uh, get us back on top. So I'm going to dump some bombs here. Because I have the bot bombers, I can just help them kind of capture what's here. I'm not so much worried about getting the points for myself, really. I just want to make it easier to cap those things, especially that middle one. 
because I know that'll be enough to flip it. And I know we've got to get back on top. You know, there's a time to go for personal points and all that jazz. But right now, again, I'm just focused on trying to win the match. And that means uh, getting this zone flipped as quickly as possible. And you can see it pays off. Uh, bot Palmers finish off something. And away we go. So now we're up three to two, and uh, that's going to allow us to claw back even on the points uh, counter at the top. I'm going to head to the middle since we've already got uh, it halfway captured there as well. And I'm going to be on the lookout for those two heavies at this point. Um, I don't necessarily can't assess, you know, anything from my mistakes other than they made me pay for them. So that's going to be bad. So I still don't know, you know, kind of relative skill level or what I'm dealing with. And... Uh, so I need to find out. F6U is going to go down again, which is going to flip the zone for us, which is lovely. And I see, okay, there's the P61. He's going to die to the bomber flight. That's not a great strategy, uh, chasing that bomber flight. So I feel a little better about that. Um, and uh, I think, okay, well, if I end up in a fight with him, if I manage to not ram him this time, I can do okay. And then the XP-58 turns in front of me. I'm not sure if he was counting on his tail gunners or he didn't see me incoming. Um, but, you know, the XP-58 is not got the same tail gunners, right, as the P-61. And so that ends up being a, a pretty easy cleanup. And we're halfway through clearing this zone. The bot bombers are doing their thing. I'm going to add 40 more points in. Unfortunately, our 1056 goes down, which um, is painful. But this is enough right here. Grab this guy, flip the zone. We're all good. And uh, it turns out our ground attacker's down there, too. While that happens, the P-61 has respawned and has missed that I'm there or something. I don't know. Actually, that's the XP-58 again, I think. Yeah, it is. Um, and again, relying on tail gunners, and that's uh, it's not going to be effective against uh, Tier 9 Heavy, right? It's just too big of a health point pool. P-61, you might have could have pulled that off, especially with um, you know this the, the turret speed on those things uh, turning in the circle. But in this case, I've got it. Shinden is up there. I'm going to try and uh, at least break him, if not capture the zone. Um, but something else gets him. Looks like our F-94 dropped him there. So I'm going to add some add some attack to this and see if we can't flip it over. And I'm feeling a little better at this point. I've calmed down, right? I'm feeling the groove a little more. You can see I'm, I'm aiming my shots a little better. Uh, P-61. And nope, I've been here before. I have a mentor that says... Uh, it's at that point I said to myself, self, we've been here before, and indeed we have. So I pull off much earlier. And uh, since I have seen him die to bot bombers, I decide we're going to go vertical. He was also climbing, by the way, uh, and I was not. I was diving. So I feel confident my energy is higher than his. Gets a nice crit there on my wing. Fortunately, I don't need my wing to climb. And we're just going to stall out up and over him and then drop over. I tried to do the cool hammerhead drop there, but... Can't, it's really hard to do, right? Uh, couldn't couldn't quite get it, especially with a wing banged up. I get so excited, I've got to drop on him. I start firing early, which is bad. A little extra trigger discipline. And I'm excited because that's squall line. I also notice as he burns away, trailing smoke in the other direction, that my UI is borked. So I've encountered the bug that some of you, I'm sure, have encountered before, where dead planes stay in the field, and buildings don't flip, and it's hard to see what's going on. And so I realize at this point, you know, he's dead and out of the game because of Squall Line. But I don't know how many planes are still in or out. I don't know if we're winning or losing because none of that's going to be accurate in my UI. Uh, it says we're up 4-1. to one. We may not be up 4-1. to one. In fact, we may be losing by a ton, and I have no way to tell. Um, I do feel fairly confident that we've flipped some sectors, so that feels good. I feel like I have flipped a few. Uh, but I'm just going to run around looking for things that are not dead and doing what I can at this point because I don't have the information, right? So fortunately, head on against that uh, Mr. Schmidt. I'm able to pop him. And I'm like, all right, we're going to go flip this zone, right? I hope, hope that it's something that is helpful to, to the team. And uh, in the process of uh, going to flip this zone, the game ends up dead uh, over. And it says it's a victory, but again, you can't always rely on that, right? So I have to go to the post-battle screen to figure out if we've really won or, or what's going on. Um, and that's a really frustrating bug. You can... Clear cash or exit and re-enter the game to kind of get get uh, get rid of it, but um, there's nothing you can do while you're in the match, as far as I know, and that's a real pain. So I'm crossing my fingers as we load into the hangar, and battlefield is cleared, so that's a good indication we're winning, right? I've got salvage, so that's good, and indeed it is a victory. 650 capture points, 
five sectors captured, died twice to the Rams, uh, but 18 target, 18 targets, including 11 of those being uh, the regular planes, uh, including a couple of players on the other team. So that went really, really well, much better than I thought it was going to, particularly after seeing everything happen. And I want to show you again, you know, this is, again, I'm going to drill this into people's heads, always be capping. I captured five zones. Burn notice captured four. Nagaton didn't get any, but he was trying. Give him credit. Um, he was definitely trying, and the 1056 is not an easy easy horse to learn. Uh, on the other side, they captured two and zero and three, so five. So uh, generally speaking, our players captured more than their players. That's going to be a win for us, right? That's generally how that works and uh, something to be aware of. So uh, pretty good. And then I check afterwards, and we won 800 to 474, which, you know, as you probably noticed, was, was not what was showing up. Um, on the post battle screen for me there, so pretty excited about the way that turned out, and um, you know wrapping up this Banshee uh, grind. Um, I do have I think maybe one more battle to play in it, and I'll be able to buy the XF90. And I'm hoping that I was hoping there would be like a Memorial Day sale weekend. I wanted to finish it up and do that, but you know without the plane sale there, maybe for the 80th anniversary of D-Day, something coming down the line. There are a couple of planes I do need to buy. And a couple I want to finish up, the MiG-9 and the Ki-162 that you see down there at the bottom. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, again, just wanted to encourage people, if the match starts off bad, that's okay. Get back in the saddle, get focused, get concentrated, do what you can. And as always, capture sectors. You know, that's what it boils down to. Um, you know, if you can get back out there and, and capture some sectors, even if you've had poor performance against other players, you may still end up winning the match. Um, and that's really... Uh, what you want at the end of the day. That's what gets you the XP, which gets you the credits, you know, what gives you the advancement in the game, whether that's tech tree or pilot skills or whatever else. So get in the saddle, get the W, overcome the lows, and uh, go grab yourself a few of those highs. So I uh, hope you had a great time watching this video. We'll push out another one uh, later in the week, and uh, we'll talk some more about some different things in the game. And uh, we'll see how things go from there. If you have any video requests, feel free to uh, drop those in the comments below. Also, if you want to leave a like and subscribe, that would be wonderful. Uh, let people know these are here. Also, let other people know about the other content creators for World of Warplanes. Um, have them check out their channels um, and uh, just uh, learn a little more about the game and have some fun while you're doing it. So until the next one, good luck and good hunting.